So this is in the meeting where they're discussing John Harrison and Kirk is sort of seeing the scene of the terrorist attack using this He's sort of navigating the 3D space. Is this tech even possible? Just leaving the system so we know he can't be far. So sort of zooming in. But then he's able to like, navigate it, it in 3D. Even see details in 3D? Like cameras oh, are 2D. Cool. Is this possible? Maybe. So so it's similar to to how you can do like a not motion capture. Say if you have like a figurine, like a like mm -hmm. a like a like a what's this? Uh, like a Gundam model, and you want to make mm -hmm. a three D model of it. You put it on this rotating stand, and you have a camera that like mm -hmm. pictures, picture, 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 and then all the pictures together, you can make a composite image as like a three D image. Mm -hmm. So the technology for this, I think, is almost already here. Like I think it's mm -hmm. already there. Like if you and good point that that these are these people are not rotating they're just doing their business whatever it is and so how would you get these other angles but i think if you had enough cameras just around um maybe in like a police state there's like a bunch of cameras from all sorts of angles then all together you could make these these images like this so i guess if you have complete camera coverage which even in a police state i think would be a challenge um, you're going to get fairly good images by directly translating the camera coverage into 3D models. Wouldn't you need to fill in some blanks though? Wouldn't there be like places where it's not, their details are not clear or even just dark zones where the cameras can't see because of a blockage? Good point. Um, good point. So say for example, if whatever camera that used to be there is damaged, mm -hmm. then there's no angle on the side, the left side of Khan's mm -hmm. face. In which case, yeah, I guess you AI fill in. You fill in right. with what you're expecting to see on this mm -hmm. side. Yeah, I think that's I think that's extremely doable. But then, if you're if you're looking for intelligence and you've got this like mixed actual data and also AI guessing, you're not going to be able to tell which one. Like, what's real? That's what's super, not? Super dangerous. Because mm -hmm. it looks like there's no holes in the coverage, which I'm thinking is AI fill in. Hmm. So is that serial number there on that bag? Is that for real? Or is that just a random number? The AI is like, there should be a serial number there. That's right. Once you start getting AI involved, you don't know if the recreation is real. Yeah. Maybe maybe you can toggle it on and off, like toggle AI guessing, toggle off AI guessing. And anything when the toggle is off, it's like, yeah, I guess that's real. I guess that would be the midway trainer when you're like training AI to see, mm -hmm. is it doing realistic stuff? You toggle on, toggle off. Mm -hmm. If like a Brazil flag pops up, you're like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you made that up, AI. Super cool though. I think yeah, we're, almost, we're almost, think we're here, almost here actually. There. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, also cool because then if you can make these 3D maps, you're ready to throw on a VR. You could experience whatever it's being like. I mean, okay, maybe not with the explosions, but like the, the London wheel, that, that'd be cool. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. I mean, even just, you could throw on a pair of VR goggles and recreate the terrorist explosion for intelligence and investigation purposes. That would be cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you're like training people how to keep calm in a, in a situation. Yeah, and like how to well, deal with whatever the explosion and you could, I guess you could I make it even, like a training, a triage training. Yeah, yeah, training I think would be good. Also the investigation, yeah. like where's the source of the explosion? Ah, where did okay. where this debris flew this way? Like I, I feel like there would be lots of stuff to re- So create. forensic stuff. Yeah, forensic stuff. That's, that's the right word.